Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's great that we could uh, spend this time looking into God's Word and we've been studying together, we've been journeying together, studying about loving God and how can we love Him fully, how can we express and demonstrate our love for God as it is laid down in, in the Word of God. Um, we started this whole discussion or whole study by looking at Matthew chapter 22 verses 37 to 40. The scribe comes and asks the Lord Jesus, what is the great commandment? And the Lord replies that the great commandment is to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul and strength. And the second commandment, he says, uh, I'm reading from verse 39, and the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So loving our neighbor is also an expression or our expression of our love for God. When we read 1 John chapter 3 and verse 16, this is what it says, By this we know love, because He laid down His life for us, and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So the Lord Jesus uh, ex expressed His love or demonstrated His love in this manner. He laid down His life for us. And scripture exhorts us that we need to do the same in our love for God, in our love for people. 1 John chapter 4 and verses 10 to 11. In this is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Verse 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So here we see that in this manner, God loved us, that He gave His only begotten Son to be the propitiation or the sacrifice for our sins. And He gave Himself for us in loving us. If God so loved us, then we also ought to love one another. So the Lord led by example. And the quality of love that the Lord has uh, wants us to show our neighbors is the same love that He has for us, which is the agape love which is the unconditional love, which is the in spite of love that he has for us. So we might ask, you know, who is my neighbor? And that's the same question that people ask, that the scribe asked uh, in, in, when he had this conversation with the Lord, who is my neighbor? And in Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37, um, the Lord Jesus explained uh, this even further by uh, sharing the parable of the Good Samaritan. So. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, uh, the Lord Jesus narrated that there were three people who traveled uh, uh, on, on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. And they saw that there was this man who was, uh, who was wounded, who was there, who had, who had been robbed. And there is a priest who comes and then he passes by. There is a Levite who comes and he passes by. And then finally, there is a Samaritan who comes and he, and he loves and uh, loves this person so much uh, to reach out to him and to help him. So the Lord Jesus says in verse 37 of that chapter, go and do likewise. So when we reach out, uh, when we see the pain of others, when we reach out to the needs of others, when we reach out in love, we are actually demonstrating our love for God in our demonstration of our love for people. Let's pray and ask God to reveal this to us, show this to us, and also give us divine opportunities to love Him in loving people. Let's pray. Father God, we thank You that You love us so much that You gave Yourself for us, Lord. You gave Your very best. And Lord, we thank You that uh, in this, we can demonstrate our love when we love our neighbors, when we love one, an one another, with the same kind of love that you loved us with. And so, Lord, we pray that you would empower us, that you would show us how to love our neighbors and how to love one another, overlooking our faults, Lord, overlooking everything, Lord, that might seem unlovable. We thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.